Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Tara collection from the Sculpted by Amy Connolly range. There are four products in the range and I've only tried two of them so far because I wanted to kind of keep this as like a first impressions, what do we think situation. So let's start off with the eyes and cheeks palette. Cheeks and eyes palette. So this is what she looks like inside. I took the overlay off when I was taking photos of it. But you can see here, can you? that Tara has named all of the, the shades after people that she loves. Why am I not here, Tara? So we have five eyeshadows, a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush in really flattering colors. This is a piece of me in a palette. I love warm tones, especially with green eyes. Like in terms of the color selection, I think that these are shades that will go with a lot of different eye colors. I like the fact that the bronzer here is, looks quite cool toned, which should be good for carving out the cheekbones need a lot of that so we have this then we have the cheek lip cream that's what that looks like and this is in the shade peach this is the lip product in the range there's a gloss on one end and a liquid lip on the other end so you can wear them either together separately you have that and then I knew there is gonna be a nude uh, lip or not lip liner eyeliner because Tara is mad about using that on the waterline to help open up the eyes and I was like yes I knew but there is a coal pencil on the other side. So I thought that I would go through the products in a bit more detail, show them to you in action and see what we can do. I think with this palette, I kind of want to try and use all of the shades. Like maybe I'll do two different eye looks. That's what I'll do. I think I'm going to start off with this shade in the center called Ruby. That is after one of Tara's dogs. Does she have two? Yeah, she's two dogs. <gasps> is Teddy in there? Oh, there is. Oh, that's Teddy there at the end. Phew. I was like, there will be war if one dog is named and not the other. <laughs> so these three shades, this one in the middle and the end one are matte shades. And then the two um, either side are like, hold on, this one and this one are shimmers. So I'm just working Ruby into the crease. There's a really nice warm toned matte shade. Nicely pigmented. It's going on evenly. And I keep it all in the crease. Now this is just, I'm not a makeup artist. This is not a tutorial. This is just what it looks like on me with my very limited skills. Also, very enjoyable large mirror. Hello. Um, that you can look at. I think what I'll do is bring that same shade under the lower lashes. I feel like this makes my green eyes look even greener instantly. I think I want to use Izzy, this one here. Um, on the lid. I'll try it with my finger. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Oh, that's lovely. It's like a bronzy, coppery shade. Oh, that's very nice. I find that shimmers with this lid. This is just my personal preference. I'm sure um, you'll have like different ideas, but I find that shadows like this work better on me with my finger. And um, because it's like, it sticks to your finger like a little bit, like that's the shade there. Oh, it's so opaque. So I'm just going to use that same brush just to make sure that everything is blended in the crease. And now I think what I'm going to, I'm just going to keep this simple. I'm going to try really hard. I'm going to use the liner. I'm going to use the nude end. Is that called something? It's called Brighton. Just use that on my waterline to help open up my eyes. Wow, that's really creamy and nicely opaque as well. Okay. What I'm going to do is take the highlight, which is the shade Jewels, and just put it into the inner corner. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. That just adds a little bit of interest. Okay, so that is the daytime look. For now, we may go back in. And I think what I'm going to do for the nighttime look is, what I would usually do is, for a lot of my looks, would, take, would be take the bronzer into my crease. Just, I mean, I could absolutely take Ruby again into the crease but I just want to see what this looks like. I haven't used it on my face yet. I haven't used this palette at all. But I just want to see. I think sweeping a bronzer over your lid even into the crease just helps your eyes look more awake. Gives it a little bit more dimension and adds shadow. Oh I really like this shade. You can see it has like an ashy tone to it. Like a cool tone. It's not too warm like compared to uh, I keep having to look ruby in that, that side in that crease. So I'm going to take Teddy 
this dark shade on the end. Just going to take it bit by bit just into the outer corner. That's really nice. That has added a little bit of drama. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I might go back in a second. And now I want to take this shade, Ava, on the finger again, in the centre of the lid. This isn't as creamy as, oh, it kind of is, wait, maybe I just didn't pick up enough. I find that, um, what's it, Izzy is a little bit more pigmented on first impressions compared to Ava. I'd say they would go on really nicely wet as well if you had like a makeup setting spray. I think of the two shimmery shades, I prefer Izzy um, over Ruby. I think that that was just that little bit easier to work with compared to, to this shade. Actually, let me wet my finger and see if that works. Yeah, that works a bit better. I'm going to take that same brush that we applied um, Teddy on the outer corner and just use it to soften the edges. And then I'm going to take, again, the highlight jewels. I think as I'm applying jewels to the lid, it's removing a bit of Ava. Is Ava, Ava, sorry. I feel like we need more of Ava on the lid. So what I'm gonna do is take just a really small brush and apply a makeup setting spray to it and then pick it up and see if that is better. Yeah. Color itself is gorgeous. I kinda want to let this dry down, but I still think that Izzy looks smoother than Ava. I'm going to use the other end, I'm going to use the smoke end of the pencil. Now this is a cold pencil, so as I said, wait and see how pigmented this is. Look, I'm like barely using any pressure at all. So I'm going to work from the outside in, keeping it close to the lash line. I'm bringing it up slightly at the corner because when I smoke it out, I just wanted to have that angle. Like an illusion of a winged liner. Okay, so I'm keeping it quite concentrated there and I'm going to smudge it with a little tiny little brush. This is a Nima brush. I don't want this to be blown out too much so I'm just going to keep it quite localised. This is so smudgeable, this, the liner. Whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to drag it from the outer towards the centre or towards like, sorry, the inner corner of the eye. Now I just want to go back in with Ava on that same brush that I used to apply and just tap it over the liner a little bit. Yeah, see that just kind of softens it up a little bit more. I just love when everything looks real smoky and smudgy. That's perfect. I'm going to bring Ava on that wet brush again, just under the lower lashes. Just listen, I'm going to go in with the smoke on the waterline and hope that nobody uh, rings the doorbell. What I like to do is when it comes to a liner like this, apply it on the waterline but then pull it down into like the roots of the lashes. It helps just make sure that there's no gap. Now you can either tight line if you want or if you don't like tight lining because that's like lining the upper kind of waterline, try blinking really hard and that will help transfer some of the colour. Can you see? Okay, let's do, actually no, let me do mascara. I'm just using the regular um, Maybelline Sky High mascara. So give me a second and I'll put this on. This mascara is incredible for length and a couple of coats gives really decent volume. Don't know if you can see that the cream eyeliner, like the nude eyeliner on the waterline has just disappeared a bit. Now maybe it's transferred up above, but it seems to be kind of catching just at the outer part of the waterline, close to my eye lashes. See there, just on the very outer part of the waterline where it just about meets the lashes, just congealed a little bit. But I'm gonna go back in, let me just, while that's happening, while that's drying the mascara, I'll just go back in with the second layer. And see, because I know when you're blinking, it will transfer because it's like a wetter formula up to the um, upper waterline, so. Shall we just see? I haven't worn anything on my waterline in ages. It feels so strange. FYI, this is just one coat of this mascara. I go from like the upper lashes down to the lower lashes. 
it's just that same one dip I haven't double dipped or anything okay the eyeballs are done so I've just changed the camera settings because I felt that it was too bright that it was washing me out so sorry I'm gonna show you the eyes at this settings Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is use all three shades here on one side of my face and then on the other side I'll use the same bronzer and highlight but with the lip cream, cheek and lip cream, okay? This brush is splayed out just so, so you know because I used my hair dryer to dry it. Okay, thanks. Ooh, that's very pigmented. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot less pigmented but it is. I have cheekbone there. I'm gonna have to use the, the sorry, just so you know I have two of these in case you're wondering. I'm gonna have to use this end to just take it down a little bit. So just FYI, this looks like it's gonna be very pale and sheer, but it's not. But I love the colour of it. I love the finish. I just take a little bit of it into across my forehead as well. Then we're gonna go in with the the blush here on the palette. Oh, I went in with like three swipes and a lot came off. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm applying a lot of blush. This is just what I do, okay? We'll just go with this. Yeah, I have like an absolute intense amount of blush that's gorgeous oh that is so nice now what I would usually do I'm going to use the do the cream blush on this side and um, my new thing is to take my blush whatever blush I'm using and now I'm going to just use like the smallest amount and just dab it across my forehead so that it looks like you caught a bit of sun I just think it looks nice if it's not your thing don't do it it's fine it's any makeup like a little bit of something, something and then whatever's left on the brush I like to just bring it across my schnoz again to look like oh look at you you were in the sun and you're like no I am caked in makeup I think I'm gonna try applying this with my fingers I think that'll work best so this is the cream blush in peach I wanted to compare this shade to the peach pop uh, cream blush so you could see them side by side just in case if you're wondering were they similar this is more pinky whereas this is more peachy I've been wearing this loads anyway, I think I prefer in terms of packaging I think I prefer this one over this one because you keep having to go again you could go in with a brush or a sponge if you want I just wanted to kind of feel the texture with these blushes they're a cream blush but they're quite slippy but they're not oily slippy like there's enough kind of movement in it but you still get color payoff okay so this one oh that's very nice also, if you find that cream blushes don't last on you, now for me, it depends, I suppose, on the day, if I'm out and about, um, if I'm having like, a particularly stressful day, if I'm holding my face in my hands a lot, um, my makeup will disappear. Um, sorry, but I found that with um, Peach Pop, it lasts on me all day. Can you see like the kind of pinky undertones? Oh my God, I love this. I like to apply the cream blush if I'm using my fingers, um, I'll do this with like liquid blushes as well. I have cloud paint blushes that I apply with my finger. I'll apply it with one finger, then go in with like a clean finger just around the edges to make sure that it's all seamless. Then if you need to go in again, just go in a little bit more. It's time to highlight. In with the highlight. I'm using the sculpted bronze highlight brush. That's gorgeous. Oh my God, that shade is perfect. Because when I saw it first, I was like, I wonder is that gonna be too gold? Because I'm quite pale to pull off a gold highlighter, but it has like the perfect mix of gold and champagne. Let's see how it sits over the cream blush. Look at my face. Look at it. Now it's time for the lips. So as I said, we have the duo ended lip product. You have the gloss on one side and then the liquid lip on the other. Now I have found that this shade, it's too pale for my skin tone. I'm gonna to show you swatches um, so that you can see. I find that with me to pull off this shade, you'll, I'm gonna apply it and you'll see it. 
I would need a like a lip liner and then just kind of pat this in the center of the lip as an all over lip color. It just doesn't suit moi. But this is the liquid um, lip end. Like look how creamy. And then really nice and sheer. So it has one of those applicators that has a well in the center and that's where it houses the product. So. Actually, that looks really nice on. I think when I tried it on before, I had no other makeup on. Um, it looked quite pale. So that is the liquid lip. I'm gonna put the gloss over the top so you can see what it is like. So yeah, this is what is too pale for me, the two together. Just a little bit too nude, but if you like your pale peachy nudes, you're gonna love this. So that is the gloss on top of the liquid lip. I will say though that in terms of formula, the liquid lip, it dries down really nicely. There is a bit of tackiness until it dries down. The gloss feels like, like a lip balm. It's not sticky, it's not gloopy. Really, really nice formula. I just wanted to show you the gloss on its own and um, so you can see your options. So yeah, it's just a really pale, pale, pale color. I think with a darker lip liner, this would look beautiful on. And there we have it. That is the Tara collection from Sculpted by Amy in action on the visage. My first impressions, my thoughts. Um, I'm going to keep using all the products. And if I have any change of heart when it comes to anything, I will report back over on Instagram. If you like the look of any of the products that I showed here in action, I have them all linked below if you want to take a look. Maybe do a little bit of shopping, treat yourself. But this is my visage. Oh, I can't believe now I have two different eyes and I can't leave them on. I just won't leave the house. Thank you so much for watching and let me know your thoughts. What is your favourite product that I showed today? What's your favourite eye? Nighttime or daytime? Nighttime, daytime. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.